What's up, collectors? Today I'm bringing you another eBay haul lot. This time I have a Goodwill lot I won on eBay for about $60. And I'm going to show you why I think it was such a gem. Uh, before starting this video, I just want to tell you that all these figures have already been checked and washed just because they were coming. You know, I don't really know where they're coming from. And I typically do that with a lot of lots. That's also why they're all kind of standing still and straight in these very like similar positions already. And I tend to tear apart figures that are incorrect right away because I don't like that. So um, with that said, we're going to get right into it. We're going to start looking at these figures and reviewing them a little bit. So first off, we'll just start right at the front here. We have a white marine. This is from the Arctic Cyclops. And he's missing a hand, which is kind of a shame. But I think I have another one who's incomplete in my collection, so I'll complete that later. Uh, we have an elite ascetic here, but not with the ascetic head. So I think this is from the Silver Armory pack back in the day. And well, hopefully I'll find an aesthetic head so I can go with the arms or I'll find the right arms to go with the head. Here we've got, oh, I pushed it all. Here we go. We've got a Call of Duty guy. He's got his canteen. So I guess that, you know, it's a good addition. I actually pick up a lot of Call of Duty guys. I have a whole separate collection going of all the Call of Duty guys I get. So I don't know, maybe one day I'll sell them all or do something with them. They have great accessories, you know, if I do custom stuff, but I don't tend to do that too much. So anyway, nice addition still, worth something for sure. We have an original Elite in this blue color. And I'll talk about this figure in a while, but not right now. Here we've got a purple Elite in the original articulation. Let's see if I can get it to focus on him. There he is with his little red eyes. Looking good. Got a green marine. I think based off this green, it's from the Blind Bag Series 4, if I'm not mistaken. And I've noticed there are other Blind Bag Series 4, so that's why I can also say that. Uh, there's a Snowbound Red Elite. So he looks good. You know, good if you have Snowbound sets. We have a couple of these metallic purple brutes, so I'm just gonna knock them all out together because they're kind of boring. But, you know, army builders nonetheless, if you, anyone needs brutes, although I guess I don't. I, they must be from the Prowler, because this is the orange Spartan from the Prowler, you can tell because he has the gray hands, so he's one of the older ones. Or he could be a Series 3 blind, but, oh, there's some hair in there, that's kind of gross. Sorry about that, guys. It's probably mine, though, because I've washed him, so that's a plus for my mom's or something. Here's an old red Spartan, don't know where he's from. Here is a steel kind of spartan i guess it's from the tribute pack but i don't i can't tell sometimes the plastic feels different too based on how old they are so i don't know exactly what this one's from you can leave it in the comments if you think you know he's not complete though so let's hope he's not one of the rare ones We've got this blue marine this was the only really dirty one here he had some dirt up in here or i don't know what it was but i was glad to clean him he's from a much newer set so i was kind of surprised given that most of these are older figures but he's a good addition hoping to get that set that he came in soon here is a white marine back from the Arctic Combat Unit or the Wolverine, but I know it's from the Arctic Combat Unit because there's another figure from that in here. We've got a steel pilot, probably from the Falcon. So he looks good. Pilots are always a good addition. Can't go wrong with them. Another red Spartan. Red Spec Ops Grunt. Yeah, there's some pieces here, but they're not really worth reviewing. See a flame, red flame marine head, I guess. Here's some of the Spartan Tribute Pack. There's this green active camo one. It was like the 10 year anniversary pack. Let's see if we can focus on this guy. There we go. So he didn't have his weapon or anything. And I have a couple of these loose already, so not a great find, but you know, it's okay. Purple Elite. Blue Brute, or Navy Brute. Little tiny purple guy, and little tiny purple guy's friend. Let's see what this one is. Oh. Was Spartan Warrior, I think. Yeah, he's also Mega Constructs, so I guess that's that's cool. Some newer ones in here. I've got this new articulation Elite. He's in like a dark blue kind of purple, maybe purple color. He uh, he's a good addition. He's probably a blind bag. He's very plain. We have a red one here. Old red pilots. Uh, what probably Series Four blind bags. Oh, and here's another one. Series Four blind bags. The Arctic pilot. Another little tiny dude. One of these newer grunts, pretty ugly. Another one of these red grunts. So I think these are both him and the Covert Ops one are from the, the Crimson or Red Armory pack back in the day. They would have come with an Honor Guard. 
or interchangeable in our guard anyway. Here's a metallic purple brute. Go there. Silver grunt. So I think he goes with that elite, which we were talking about, who could have been the ascetic. Got a red brute. There he is. Sorry, it's not focusing great. We're working on it. Here we got red EVA. Half of them. A couple limbs are strewn about, up, um, up, about excuse me, but they're not his. And all right, so last couple figures. This one I thought was funny. Uh, you know, in my other video I just posted recently, I got a white Hayabusa. But here's another one, and he, that's how I knew the Marine is from the Arctic Combat Unit. So that's the only set he came in. But this one's funny. He obviously has some character or was played with because he's got this Lego blaster here from like the old Captain Rex Clone Wars series days. He's got the Indiana Jones satchel bag. And here where his sword would go on, he has a plasma pistol. I almost feel bad taking all this stuff away from him because obviously he was probably some kid's favorite or he was played with a lot and had some story. But then again, he's coming to my collection now and I'd love to see him complete with just his sword. But this guy's got character, so I'll give him that. And then the next part of the lot, uh, you, see, you saw I was saving these figures to the, towards the end, so I just wanted to show you all at the same time. So there were five of these guys, and only one had the weapon. There we go. Can you see them? So these are the Comic-Con 2013 exclusive figures that are handed out. Or maybe, you know, it could have been the Halo Fest or various other things, but these are the exclusive bad guys. And uh, there were so many of them in the slot, and you're seeing five here, but actually, I have a couple packages here of them sealed. See, they're the exclusive figure, and it had some set images on the back, all the Oni Repex line. So I, these were definitely given out at the convention. I think they're pretty rare. They go for at least probably $8 sealed these days, and even if I counted as five, I think I made my money back, because there were eight of these sealed. And I gave three away already, but I have five to show you here. Look at the highlight of the lot. I'll just put them all over everything else. So we have Comic-Con galore with these figures. And I think they really made the value of the lot for me. It felt good to be buying from Goodwill. You know, hopefully the money's going towards a good cause. But also I was able to pick up a ton of these convention ones. So I'm sure there's a story there on how this person got the ball. I heard you used to be able to go and just buy like cases of them at the end of the events. They had them left, so that's probably what happened. But who knows? These guys have a story, and I leave this one displayed on my desk. He was in good shape and had his weapon. So with that, collectors, happy hunting. I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. Did you think this was a cool lot? Anything you would have wanted? Did I pay too much? I think the price to part uh, ratio is pretty good here. But uh, I'll see you in the next one, collectors. Happy hunting.